So apparently right now I've started recording and what we're going to run through very quickly is the processing steps for processing GPR data using uh, ReflexW. So at this point we've opened Reflex and opened a project locally and we're in the 2D data analysis module. Our first step is to open or import a data set file import. Uh, I'm selecting uh, Mala ID3 data because that's the file format of our GPR that we use. I've got a manual input. My output files processing steps will be just called S3 for this example. I now hit convert to reflex. I'm now in my data file, which I've put on the desktop of the local computer. I've unzipped the Castle sinkhole file and I'm in a directory area 4B and I'm going to open one of these data files to have a look at. It's loading up all the traces and it's loaded it up now into my main window. I can now close this and close this and here's my data. The first step in this is subtracting the DWAL signal, so the DC signal the antenna has with the ground. And to apply the DWAL removal, I'm going to hit processing. 1D filter, and then down here there is a subtract mean dewire option. I'll put this under processing label number one because it is my first step. And I hit start. Now it has dewired my signal in the second window here. I'm going to click two to one to bring the second window up into the first and continue processing on that. My second step now, the second filter I apply is a static correction. This will account for the fact that my re reflections with the ground start at about 10 nanoseconds and it will bring that up to zero nanoseconds. I open the processing static correction window and I click static correction. And now I have to manually enter my start of my line, my end of my line, which is a little bit over, and then apply both of these. Uh, times to both of them. I need to move it up by approximately 10 nanoseconds. So that's what I'll do. I'll increase the processing label for this to two. It's my second processing step. I'll hit start and I'll close that. And you can see now it's shifted my data up to zero nanoseconds. I'll now hit two, one, and there's my data. The third step is to apply a gain filter so I can see what's happening deeper down. I like to have control of this, so I would use a gain function, although there are other options here to play with. I'm gonna start my filter at zero nanoseconds, which is where my data now is. And I'm just gonna apply, in this case, a linear gain function um, of a scale one and increase my processing label to three and hit start. And there's my data now underneath and I'm starting to see these deeper features reasonably well, so I'm gonna go with that gain function. I'll now hit two to one to bring that up the top. The last step, the fourth processing step, is to remove these background lines you see throughout the data. So at this point, I'll go to 2D filters, and I will select background removal, which should get rid of those background lines automatically. I'll select processing step four we'll hit start and if i close that now on this particular data set it hasn't done a perfect job of that background removal on this data at all but i can see those uh those sinkholes coming out in the data reasonably clearly right they're the four steps we generally go through you may want to play with your options to bring out the strength of these reflections more in the game and you may want to play with your background removal step to do a better job of removing these background lines because there's some wiggles and offsets in this particular profile it hasn't done it 100 percent successfully but on other profiles it works better all right that is the end of your processing steps for gpr